guys. Well, it's Friday. This is our day five of our trip here in Oregon, and we are up at the Vista House off of the Columbia River. And this is where a lot of the waterfalls, not up in this part right here, but in the park itself, there are lots of waterfalls in this area. And um, we're gonna just take a look down here and see what everything looks like. In fact, I'll turn a little information board here. go Columbia River from high up on the uh, hill here at the Vista house show you what that looks like from here huge river I'll say that it's just massive I didn't realize it was this big so this is in the basement of the Vista house we have a coffee shop down here gift shop Okay, so we're in the parking lot of the La Grille Falls. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the actual name of the falls correctly. Probably not, but uh, anyway, we're in the parking lot. We're about ready to climb the trail to the upper part of the falls. Difficulty in this trail is probably going to be just going up straight up pretty much <laughs> otherwise the trail is pretty flat and it's dry well from the parking lot to the falls itself is very quick look at that beautiful let's take some pictures oh wow that's a huge tree Man, incredible, big old redwoods. Yeah, this trail is not hard, it's just uphill. So, and this is the first waterfall in a chain of waterfalls along this corridor. We're on another massive tree. Wow, <laughs> way up there. All right, and we walk. A little bridge across. It's like one of the tributaries going into the river. Now we're coming up onto another part of the falls. Wow, oh, that's cool. Woo. Beautiful. Down here. It's a little bit wet down here, but we're going to uh, walk along this area. You can see the falls go way up there. It's beautiful. We have to go down around this area here and cross this little bridge. Make it a little wet, maybe. On the trail back down to the parking area that was a really nice hike so this this trail here is about two miles round trip it's really not that bad I will say if you have some mobility issues you might want to use trekking poles for that first area where you're going up the hill it's it's kind of steep and uh, take your time Otherwise, it's a great trail. The only uh, real sort of hazardous area is down by the falls themselves where the area was really wet. So you gotta be careful with your step. Otherwise, a nice trail. Trees, big redwoods, look at this thing. Incredible. 
this massive tree. So this is what the area looks like in here. Yeah, this is a nice trail. Really enjoyed it. All right, we're going to head down to our vehicle and go to the next stop. I had to turn on the camera for this. For that cool tree. Still actually have branches on it, but it doesn't look very healthy. Yes. Just love the sound of the water. Just feel that river. The trail all the way around the falls and down to this lower part, and you actually come out to the road. And our car is parked further in, so but we should cross on the other side. But if you go this way, you're going to walk more than three miles. If you just go up to the falls, all the way up, it's about, and uh, come back down from the falls, it's one mile, or two miles, I'm sorry, it's one mile up, one mile back. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, we have to go, we're way over. I think, I don't know. Oh, here's another part of the falls. Got done walking the falls here, the Tural Falls. I think that's how they pronounce it. So if you take this path here, it goes to the lower part of this falls. If you take this other path over here, by these railings, that goes to the, all the way up to the upper upper part. So you got lower part here in this section, and then what you do is if you continue on the trail and go all the way around, you go all the way this way. And you come out at the end of that bridge over there by the road. You gotta cut across and follow the trail and it brings you back to the lower part of the falls. So the whole trail total is at least three miles. That's what we have, at least that's what our phone showed us. Officially on our second stop in this park system of falls, and this is Bridal Vale Falls. And we're gonna go take a look here. Two to three mile round trip. There you go. I got a loop trail. There we go. Yep, so so far we've been where have we been so far? Where's our first stop? First stop was here. Now we're here. We still want to get all the way up here yet, too. Okay. All right. Hiking, hiking. Here we go. All right. The only thing about this park, uh, part of the park here, this Bridal Vale Falls area, is the parking lot is extremely small. So you may have to wait for some parking. We have to wait just a little bit. So we got lucky. Just keep that in mind if you're coming to this area. That's beautiful. I've got a picture in here. So this area gets a little bit crowded. We, it is about 11 o'clock in the morning here, so quite a few people are down here, but um, this is the observation area for the falls. And then there's a loop trail that goes around back that way, I believe, which we may look at and take. Right now we're gonna go see the falls here. Well, we did the Bridal Vale Falls. We only walked into the falls area and then came back out. Um, there's kind of a lot of people down here, so we didn't spend much time in here. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. It's a very quick walk in there. It takes about, I don't know, it's probably 40 minutes total that we spent down there. And uh, we're going to be going up the road and uh, finding some more fun and excitement. All right, Chef Leroy in. Out. All right, we're down here at this Maltanama Falls area. This is a restaurant. So it is only 12 o'clock and it is completely packed down here. There's a huge line of cars waiting to park and they're just, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to come here pretty early in the morning to get any kind of parking down here, I think. So, what about this one? What does this people say?
that's okay. Okay. Probably have to come tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see. Alright. We're heading this direction. Oneonta Gorge. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. But uh have a little walk this way. There you go. Oh, the trail's closed. What? Well, that's not good. Oh, that's really cool, though. See that? You can't, it's hard to can't even get a picture in there. Oh, well. Let's walk up here a bit and see what this um, information board says. It's too bad the trail's closed. Oh, okay. Do you want to just go through the uh, tunnel here quick? No, is it safe? Yeah. I think so. Woo, it's windy though. Holy smoke, it's. Here we go. Going through this. Yeah, I think they've redone all the wood in here. It smells very newish. That's cedar, man. You can smell it. It smells really good. At least I think it's cedar. Unless it's redwood. It smells like cedar. All right, cool. Get on the other side here. I'll show you what the other side looks like. Area down here. Well. Wow. All right, so we're at. The next stop here is Horsetail Falls. We'll cut across the street here. And uh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Let's go see what we got. So we got upper Horsetail Falls, 0.4 miles, viewpoint, 0.8 miles. The creek is 1.2 miles, and the trail is 1.3 miles. All right, so we're on this trail going up to the upper falls here. And uh, it's not too bad, it's a little bit of elevation. The rocks are a pain in the butt, but as you can see, a little rocky trail, uneven. But not too bad. All right, we're pretty high up here. We're approaching the top of the waterfall, I believe. That's another drop there as well. And if you look this way, there's another section here. This is a bit of a hike up here. It's a, you know, going uphill, a little hard on the calves. Oh, I see those people behind the falls there. That's pretty cool. Waterfall. Muddy in here. A lot of uh, water spray right now, too. There's a fire in here before. You can see the trees burnt around the bottoms. Look at this guy. Pretty crispy. Still alive. My branch is all the way to the top. All right, so we just had a little lunch. Some smoked salmon, some fresh cherries we picked up from a market, or a little farm stand, I should say.
much undisturbed by anybody. So that was awesome. All right, let's start walking that trail. That's pretty quiet up here. Didn't really see anybody else come up except for a couple of people. Pretty nice. Nice, calm, lunchy for us. Cherries were good. I really like that smoked salmon. So the one takeaway that we have from this trail, which we liked it, it was on a pretty nice trail. And we're, it's not as busy, which is really good. But we don't appreciate all the highway noise. We're really close to the highway. As you can see in the background there. So that's all you hear is a lot of highway noise takes away from the beauty, I would say, of this park and trail. All right, let's just keep on keeping on. All right, we're back at the falls. I'm gonna go underneath again, through the back side of it. Now this is more an inviting sound than highway noise. It's just that rush of waterfall power. Coming down to the end of the trail here, back toward the parking lot, and uh, it took about 25 minutes to come down from where we were. Going up, unless you're some kind of super athlete, which we are not, um, it will probably take you maybe another 15 minutes or so to get up to the top, 15 to 20, just because it's kind of pretty steep grades in a couple places and. And uh, all, with all this rock, too, it's really hard. You can't just climb through it so quickly. Otherwise, you're going to fall. So, again, this is Horsetail, uh, Horsetail Falls. That's awesome. 